My name is Jerry Conboy and I'm here to talk with you about hospice care. And I have worked at Blessing for 28.6 years to be precise, and all of that time I have spent in hospice care. All right, is hospice free? Well, it may seem like it's free because patients and families don't get a bill for hospice. But in reality, no health care is free. It costs money to provide it. So we are reimbursed by Medicare, Medicaid, and almost all insurance companies have a hospice benefit. So it's a benefit most people don't think about because most people don't like to think about the fact that they may need to use hospice at the end of their life. But it is something that's reimbursed by those sources and then uh, Blessing Hospice is, has the good fortune to be supported by the Blessing Foundation. So if there are expenses that are not covered by those, then we have that support. So in the end, the patient doesn't have any out-of-pocket expenses. Is hospice covered by Medicare? I just answered that question, didn't I? So I get to go on to the next question. Is hospice non Profit. There is no requirement for hospice organizations to have a specific profit status. Blessing Hospice is non, not for profit. We are part of the Blessing Health System and have been since 1982. So, yes, Blessing Hospice is not for profit. Not all hospices are. And um, so, that if that's an important thing for somebody when they're looking for a hospice for their family member, that's something you can check into. Is hospice 24 hour care? That's sort of a yes or no answer. It depends on what you mean for by 24 hour care. Does hospice have staff that moves in with a patient and is in their home for 24 hours? No, we don't, but we have the next best thing. We have staff that's on call 24 hours a day. That's the, that team is led by the nursing staff. And one of the very first pieces of information we will give a patient and their family is if you need anything, anything at all, any time of day, Christmas, 20 below, hailstorm, whatever, call your hospice nurse and they will respond immediately. They will talk with you on the phone to determine what needs to be done. Sometimes they'll get you started to do something while they're on their way um, and then they will, they will come. So it's, it's really better than um, calling 911 because we know you, we know what your concerns are, and we are able to address things immediately. So while we don't live with you 24 hours a day, we are available 24 hours a day. Is hospice only for the dying? In order to receive services from Blessing Hospice, a person has to have a prognosis of six months or less life expectancy. What we see is that that's part of the art of medicine, it is determining what somebody's prognosis is. And so it's really, if that's what the physician's best judgment is, that somebody's prognosis is six months or less. Um, people can receive hospice care as long as their physician continues to believe that's the probable prognosis. Medicine is a lot of science, but it's also a lot of art. And sometimes you can't predict the course of, of, that a disease will take. So sometimes people live longer than six months and continue to receive hospice care. What we experience, and I think this is the experience really across the country, is most people aren't referred to hospice soon enough. So maybe they receive hospice care for only a few hours or a few days. And that really deprives the patient and their family of all the available support and services and actually financial benefits of receiving hospice care. Um, one of the questions earlier was, does hospice pay for medicine? And I answered that, yes they do. But they pay for more than just medicine. We pay for all the staff that come in. We pay for any supplies that are needed, such as wound supplies or um, incontinent supplies, any su medical supplies a patient needs. And we also pay for any equipment. So if somebody needs a hospital bed or oxygen or a wheelchair, that's also provided for hospice. So, Early referrals are better in terms of receiving the needed support and help, as well as some financial benefits. It, whoops, I almost pulled you off there. Is hospice, oh, 
two in one, so two for there. There we go. Is hospice and palliative care the same thing? They're similar, they're not the same. So hospice care focuses on comfort and quality of life. It's available to individuals who have a six months or less life expectancy. Palliative care also focuses on comfort and quality of life, but it is available to anybody during the course of their illness. So one of the things that we have seen as the field of palliative care has grown is that many specialties such as oncology is a good example, are um, advising, I guess would be the right word, advising physicians to get palliative care services involved at the same time as an in initial diagnosis of cancer. This gives people more support. It's a dual focus on not only addressing the cancer and trying to reverse the course of that, but also focusing on some of the symptoms that somebody may be having while they're receiving treatment. So the focus of hospice and palliative care is similar. It's on comfort and quality of life and symptom management, but the time that it's available to somebody is different. Palliative care is available any time during the course of somebody's illness and can re be received at the same time somebody's receiving aggressive care. Hospice is available when somebody's focus of care has shifted to, to comfort, and we focus on comfort, quality of life.